a lot of times in Android you're going to be working with lists. So how can we do that? So let me see. Hmm, there's something called list. And you might see these little things with the greater than or lesser than signs and wonder what they mean. You might see string inside of there. Um, you might see a variable, something like this. What exactly does that mean? So list just means that you want a list of something. So let's just get rid of that. And let's say, say we have a milk truck that delivers milk. Okay, just crazy example. So what we're gonna do is we want to we want a list of inventory of all the milk and the delivery guys truck or whatever so list milk bottles or maybe milk bottles or just call it milk um, and then their variable name variable name, variable name will be milk so what this does is it basically says and this won't work but this just says hey we want a list of something what's going to be inside of the list is it a string is it a number is it a milk is it food is it whatever so let's go ahead and just get rid of that that's kind of pointless and maybe the analogy doesn't go over so well but let's declare something at the top so right after a class um, list and what we're gonna put inside it is a string we'll put name people's names inside of it so string that means we'll have a list and I have oh it is important to note that I do have uh, auto import so it, it automatically ports imports stuff that we need so if I if I open this up again and I get rid of that it should take it out so yeah so it's it's removing depend the calls at the top so list string and list there we go and see how it adds that right there for us I'm just gonna go ahead and close that but that's important that you can do that in settings I have another video on that so I'm gonna go ahead and close it if I can close that there we go okay so we have our list now we need to initialize it so it's something you need to do um, so list we have a list of strings so strings is, is characters and we're name, the variable name is mList. So the variable name mList equals, and then just as we create new objects or whatever, we're going to go new. Right, now name this array list. Put nothing inside it and write it just like that. So basically saying the variable there, the same variable there, we want a new array list. So let's do something. Let's put mList dot, and now we have, because it is a list, we have access to certain methods. So I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of that dot, I'm going to put the dot back in, and you can see all this stuff that you can do. Um, what I have right here is add, so just start typing add, and you'll see it there. Now it's, uh, it'll tell you, it's looking for an integer, and this is kind of important. So it'll tell you what it's asking for. So say I get, so, I, so right now you see in the yellow it says integer, uh, location, string, object, whatever. Say we get rid of that. What if you want to find out what goes inside? Hold on the command key and put your mouse, so, oh, that doesn't work. Forget that. Well, for, uh, that's for something else. Anyway, that's my bad. Sorry. So let's get rid of that. Dot add. Um, there. The reason it's comp. Uh, I won't get into that now. Um, my bad. Sorry. Okay. Well, let's let's just start. We we start counting at zero. So let's put in zero. Let's put Daniel. M list. So uh, let me just explain what's going on. So basically, in this list variable. We have an index, which is always starts at zero, and it goes to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or whatever. And then you have the string. So the string is my name, Daniel. So it can be anything. So and so we get M list, add to that, add this stuff. Index zero, value is Daniel. So say we want to add something else. So M list dot add. This one has to be one because we can't so it's deb. So now we have deb. Now let's do mList.add. Let's do two and mel. Um, so let's, I'll add just one more here just to show you. So mList, the, the, get the variable, add to that, three, and we just put it up one time. Uh, we'll name this Nate. Short names. Okay, so here we go. I'll, I'll shorten that to Dan just because. So how do we actually view this? Well, let's do something interesting. Let's do log D. Type in log D and it'll automatically fill this in for you. Um, now, M list, we'll just type something in there. So um, you might not be familiar with log D. What it does is it basically just writes out to what's down here. So if we click on the Android monitor, you'll see, so I'll just go ahead and delete this, but that's something else that I saw there. Um, uh, so that's basically that's not gonna work so it's looking for a tag and so let's go up to the top 
log t enter enter that'll automatically make a variable it's be private static final string tag and it'll be main activity so it's basically just a string there all right yeah just a string main activity and that's what we do for log dot d which will print it down to this area down here so um, what do we need to do um, well let's uh, let's go ahead and so this let's go ahead and click over here on line 28 uh, right here um, so on the same line the log is on we can we can hit that button right actually we don't need to do that we'll just we'll just do it this way save it and I'm gonna go ahead and run it so I think I explained pretty much everything and this is a demo up from before but okay so now it just ran now if you look down here where it says main activity that's because the tag up here is main activity and you see on create that's on creates right there m list so you see on create m list there and then the ver then plus the variable m list so there it is dan deb nate mel nate so this is basically how you create a list uh, a list so just to recap call it with list and then whatever's going to be inside of the list put it in here so string in this case because strings are just strings are characters not numbers so we name the variable m list we come down here we initialize m list with the new put the new keyword there call it array list lesser than greater than sign and then parentheses and then get on the same variable use the add method on there to add and start at zero and work your way up to 100 or whatever and just the first the inside of between that and that is where your stuff goes. So zero, Dan, one, Deb, two, Mel, three, Nate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then what this does, if you just type to, to, this is for debugging, but if you type log D and enter, it'll automatically create a tag for you. And log T at the top, so log T, and that'll create that for you. So that pretty much covers it. That's just the basics of lists, and we'll get to them. It'll be more. Well, you can make them much more complicated. Complicated, but just for now, that's the the beginning. The beginning of it, and hopefully, you learned something. If you have any requests, let me know, and I'll make videos on pretty much whatever you want. Okay, bye.